Each year, the next Hell Cup Series comes to Kansas City to battle on a mile and a half track that has quickly become a favorite place to race for many drivers. The Kansas Speedway is also a fan favorite, and today the fans have turned out to watch these stars face the checkered flag for 400 miles. Some drivers have been bragging about what they've got for today's race, so NASCAR fans from neighboring Missouri have come across the border with a simple message they made famous. Show me. And that's what the stars of the next Hell Cup Series are about to do in the Banquet 400, presented by EA Sports. Welcome back to NASCAR 2006. Here we go, another pole. Green flag is out, running away for 32 laps at Kansas Speedway. I can make history in this chase. I don't think anyone's gotten every single pole in the chase. I've already gotten the first four poles in the chase. So that's kind of interesting to know. And here I go, trying to get down the inside for Junior, and I almost ran up in, so I had to let go of the gas there. Off turn four, who's going to lead the first lap? Oh, that'll be me, because I hit Junior. And I just blocked it. Came down the block still in time. It's, oh, man. I look back at the Talladega race and I think, man, I could have made the pass earlier. I wanted to make sure that uh, the rivalry with Stewart and Carl Edwards were gone, though, so... I thought that was a better idea. Wow, tight car right now. I guess I gotta let go of the throttle a bit. I don't know. I... I I did that at Vegas, it worked out really well, so yeah. Kansas is a lot like Vegas in this game, so I know Vegas looks a lot more like Atlanta now, I guess. Atlanta, Texas, those more speedway, those tracks, but before that, it used to look like something like Kansas. Oh, boy, that's really tight now. Here comes Kurt Busch, and I feel like that lead. I'm not doing the lead now. And I respect, and I respect giving up the lead there. I respect giving up the lead as long as I can get back. Ooh. Come on, I'm really bumping out of the way. Even though I kind of did try to bump him out of the way and lock his plan for a push. Um, but that was a different race, this is now. Oh boy, and I got tight and loose at the same time. Alright, goes up the racetrack a little bit coming off four there, but I'm not really worried about that. It's like turn three I'm more worried about, so. I just want to track like I want to right now, I guess. I have to get higher up to try to make, to make it actually stick. Let's see if that works out. Yeah, that actually, yeah, that, that turns much better. I guess that, I guess to actually work, I have to actually run the preferred line on this, on this track, so. That means I can't really pass Kirk Bush unless I get up to him and then try to make a diet bomb move like this one in turn one. Ooh, wow, man. Almost done to him. I allow the throttle. Side by side down the back. He's not giving me much room. I'm gonna have to make my room. And apron's okay over here, so that's all. Oh, I'm not broken on the spin out. Okay. Got the lead back. We can get those extra five bonus points for the most laps now. And then hopefully extend my lead on Stewart. Right now, if I were to win this, um, let's see, it would be a, let's see. It would be a 35, 35 to 40 point lead. If I lead the most laps, of course. But that only half of my pick crew does their job. Pick crew hasn't really done their job that well. They did do they did do pretty fine at Talladega. I'll, I'll admit that. Um, go over right and take right side. So New Hampshire is the only track so far that they actually had to make an actual. I don't know. Talladega is Talladega pit stops don't really matter too much. So I guess New Hampshire is the only actual track so far in the chase that actually like had. The pick crew be important. This and the next uh, and this race and the next six races and the, the final six races in the season are going to be important. 
it's gonna be important for the pit crew to actually make their pits, make my pit stops right in this. If they mess up, then the season might end for me. So I, I might not win the cup. And if they mess up, I have to drive it all out. And even if I do, I might not win the chase that way if they mess up. Hopefully that doesn't happen in any of the final seven races. Which includes this one, of course. Man, I cannot pull away from Ryan Newman and Kurt Busch in any of the field here. I, I get a little, I gain a little bit, but that's, it's not much. And it kind of loses it down the back here. Halfway in field already, so I guess I'll pick around lap 16 and 18. I realize I have to run the fur line on this track. You see, the, you see where the rubber boat is? That's basically the fur line on this track. I just like to go a little lower in the try over. I like to go a little lower in the try over and returns. I gotta get back up here at the top of the track so I can actually get, gain more speed. And then have a better turn in the three. As you can see, I'm a bit lower than what the road build shows. I got tight because I kind of tried to turn it too hard. I kind of tried to turn it too, too far. I had to get back up track, and that kind of cost me there. Man, Kurt Busch is all over me now. Ryan Newman going under Kurt Busch for the second spot. Tony Stewart third, or fourth, and Carl Edwards is fifth. Man, the game does not make it easy for me to try to win a Kansas here. A first, second, and a third place finish. Not in that order. Like, but so far in Chase, that's how it's been. First, second, and third. First place in New Hampshire. Third place at Dover. Second place at Todd Baker. It should have been a win if it stayed green the rest of the way. But um, unfortunately, that debris caution came out. If only Jeff Gordon didn't hit Scott Wimmer there, I would have been very happy. Like the first caution that came out, because Michael Walsh hit Scott Wimmer, and then Jeff Gordon hit Scott Wimmer because he had nowhere to go. Um, and if Jeff Gordon didn't, didn't hit Scott Wimmer there, that would have been much better. I would have been happy that way. Um, but it made things interesting, and I almost made it there at the end. It just couldn't work out there. Uh, so, that could have been my ninth win of the season. I've had some races where I should have won. It was like a shoulda, coulda, woulda, and it, something bad had to happen. Something had to happen. Something goes wrong or something. Like, either my pit crew, me, or something else. I don't know what it is. A lot of drivers pitted last lap. This past lap, they're I think they're... No, they're not coming out there. They're still on the pit train. Wow, my car is so tight. Thank goodness Newman went to pit road. Otherwise, he probably would have gone past me. Almost at halfway now, just about. I don't think I'll pit just yet, though. I don't think I'll pit this time. Finally, the gyro ends up pitting just coming out now. I'm gonna see if I can try to like make a fast pin entry, but without speeding. Hopefully that happens. Um, See anyone else spinning? There's Stewart and Edwards going in the pit. Alright. That's halfway. I don't know if I'll hit holding on right now. I might try to stretch that one more lap and see what happens. I'm thinking about the right side tire strategy again, but I have to be careful with the left side because I don't know how tight the how uh, worn out gonna get. Hopefully not too worn out to get into the finish. Um, yeah, I didn't want to pick that time by. I think some more guys pick it. Okay, if the right if the right rear just got worn out. I mean, that might be a good idea to just take right side and see if I can close to the left. If I can make it through here. Alright, here I come. Don't 
Bianca Road. There we go. Hopefully no one holds me on the pit road. No, I haven't already came out. That's good. Alright, so. Oh, shoot, I took four, I took four tires. Oops, oh well. Guess I gotta work this one real well for the pit group. Alright, guys. Please give me a good pit stop. It's the chase. We can't afford any screw ups, okay? Trip push, sorry, coming out, I know. There he goes. Anyone else that's passing me? No, Jared, no, you're not passing me. Alright, so I'm not gonna lose too much, it looks like. Stay here on the apron, it's fine. Whoa, I almost ran into Kansas, because I couldn't keep on the bottom. Alright, 10th place, hopefully 8th place once the pit stop cycle through. And uh, there's Jeff Gordon right in front of me. Wow, I got really tight there. I didn't see the wet, I didn't see anything off the wet, so I'm wondering how that fits. Oh boy, I, oh, I was trying to get under Jared there. Whoa, I almost, I almost knocked Jared into the wall, but I almost hit Jared too. He almost got sandwiched to me in the wall. So yeah, I'm 8th now. Newman is... Wow, Newman's got a commanding lead right now. Actually, no, he doesn't. He's... I'm stupid. He's got Kurt Busch all over him. But that's a pretty... Wide, that's a pretty big gap between 2nd and 3rd. Which is... Tony, Tony Stewart is pretty really big. Because he's... Nope, no, it's still Dale Jr. Uh, so it's Ryan Newman, Kurt Busch, Dale Jr., Tony Stewart, Carlos is top 5. Make that Tony Stewart third and Carl Edwards fourth. And then, uh, Yale Jr. fifth. Kansas sixth, Jeff Warren seventh on eighth, and Jarrett is ninth. I don't remember who's tenth. Uh, well. I just, the top nine, not top ten. Let's see. Dive bomb move on Jeff Gordon. Oh boy. I was just pass him. I don't want anything else to go wrong with Jeff right now. But I need a little more room than that, Jeff. There we go. Thank you. Ooh. Oh, tight, 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 tight. tight. Alright. Don't think I'm gonna get this win, but I can get a solid top five. That'll be really fine if I get a fourth place finish. Then be like first, second, third, fourth in the first four races of the chase. Not in that order, but still. That'd be kind of funny. It's not gonna shape up to be that way right now, though, it looks like. He's... Carl Edwards, I can see Carl Edwards in the third right now. He's just barely ahead. Like, the. Like, 3rd through 7th is like basically like within like, I don't know, a half second. And 3rd through 7th is like a gap of half a second. 3 wide down the back straightaway, and oh, never mind, still got to run off too. Alright, yes. Just hanging on to him one way. Where'd Stuart get damage on this part? I think Stuart get damage on this part. I'm back this far after you. Eight laps to go. Not doesn't look like I'm gonna make the split unless some caution comes out. Which would be very uh, pleasing. But I'll just pass Stewart so I can extend my lead a bit. Ooh, whoa, I was bumping I was bumping into the wall. I was bumping. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ooh. Good thing that apron glitch thing is not me. Even that Kansas. Oh man. Fourth place, here I come. Stuart got lucky to get that win, I, I tried. Alright. Off of two. I'm gonna get to. I'm gonna try to get a run on the back straightaway and try to pass it over to three. Not gonna happen. Stuart, you're not getting any. Close, but not quite going. Carl is uh, kind of blocking, kind of getting his third spot. 
Which I'm not surprised because he's in the chase, so am I. And every position counts in the chase. Ah, oh, he blocked me down there. Go up here. I gotta move. It's called the dive bomb. Yep, I drove it under Carl Edwards, but I can't keep it on the bottom of the track. But I can still get by for third with five to go. Oh, man. Now that was tough. Maybe I can have these guys help me a bit. I might be able to catch Kurt Busch for second, actually. I don't think I'll be able to get... I won't, I won't get this win by... Nah, never mind, I won't be able to get second if I keep playing tight. If Stuart can keep pushing me a little bit, maybe I'll be able to get second. Maybe. The win is definitely unlikely unless there's a caution right now. If the caution does come out now, I'd be very happy. I mean, I'd, be pro I'd probably be the happiest guy in, that, in this season, I guess. But then again, Kirk Bush would probably be happy too. Three laps to go, and Newman is starting to pull away from Kirk Bush. I'm pulling away from Stuart a little bit. And I'm trying to close in on Kurt Busch for that second spot. He gained a little bit that time. Tenth of a second. I think it's too little too late to catch Kurt Busch. Well, tenth of a second on the gap between me and Lee anyway. Gained another tenth. Two laps to go. It's a strong race for me. Another top three finish here. Question is, is it third or second right now? Because I am really closing the gap on Kurt Busch now. Pit crew did their job. Gave me a nice, gave me a good pit stop. And I'm on the verge of getting another second place finish, which would be just fine on me. Because I know pit crew is a bit slow in this game. We need to do a custom in the car. One to go! Wow, I'm really closing the gap. I'm closing the gap on the straightaway in the trioval. I've caught, I've just about caught Kirk Bush, but I can't, I gotta get the dive bomb done in turn three here. Oh boy, can I get there? Spark of hope, spark of hope. Ah, Ryan Newman wins the bank with 400. Battle for second. No. Oh. Wow! I gave him my all there at the end for second and just missed it. Man, what a run that was at the end, I gotta tell you. I didn't think I was gonna catch Kurt Busch, I just about did, almost got him at the end. What a race! Even though I didn't win, because congratulations, Ryan Newman wins, Kurt Busch second, I finished third. Tony Stewart 4th, Kyle Edwards 5th, Matt Kenseth 6th, Dale Hunt Jr. 7th, Jeff Gordon 8th, Dale Jarrett ninth, and Mark Martin rounds out the top 10. Let's go check those point standings. I'm not mad about this race. That was an actually an excellent race for me. It felt good to just know that I had such a dominant car and that I was able to just show that. I mean, I... I did so well trying to catch Kurt Busch. I caught him and I almost got him there. I'm not mad because I do have an extra, I do have bigger points in now, as you will see on the standings. That I am now 35 points ahead of Tony Stewart. Carl Lewis is third points, 91 back. Dale Hart Jr. fourth, 194 back. And Jeff Gordon is fifth, 209 back. Greg Biffle, sixth, 218 back. Jimmy Johnson, seventh, 233 back. Bobby Vine, eighth, 278 back. Kurt Busch, 9th, 353 back, and Mark Martin, that was at the top 10 points, 357 back. I'd say we can count on Kurt Busch and Mark Martin on winning this chase. Um, but the drivers are definitely still in it. Tony Stewart and Carl Edwards, definitely. I know that for a fact. The next race goes back to Lowe's Morris Speedway in Charlotte, North Carolina, for the running of the UAW GM Quality 500. I will see you guys in Lowe's Morris Speedway at Charlotte.